And so coming off the discussion of agriculturists and farmers, I think a really, really important person to discuss is George Washington Carver. Now, George Washington Carver is very interesting to me because coming off the conversation of agriculturists and understanding, you know, where our food has come from and how influential African slaves were to the types of ingredients that we use nowadays. Um, the science behind how we cook food is also attributed to black prominent futures and Carver is one of them. Now, Carver is actually a hugely influential agricultural scientist and he is actually the inventor of crop rotation. So crop rotation is something that we practice to this day. It's something that I do in my own garden and I didn't even realize that as a black man who came up with this technique. Amazing. So the whole idea behind crop rotation is that you move crops from one place to another as a means of maintaining the quality of your crop as well as maintaining nutrients in the soil. Because if we leave one crop in one place, it's just gonna completely rinse all the soil of all of its nutrients. Where if we move it, we maintain nutrients, we diversify nutrients, and that's our modern farming system to this day. And it goes further. It wasn't even just about the idea of moving crops, but now once we've started moving these crops and we're keeping these great, strong, nutritious crops moving around, how do we get nutrients back into the soil? Carver figured that out. So simple things like soybeans. Uh, planting soybeans would bring back nutrients to the soil. Now Carver had the goal of improving Southern agriculture. Um, something I think is very interesting, especially when we get into further conversations in terms of the social capital of food and how soul food is traditionally thought of as being less healthy, um, not as nutritious, um, which is really a crazy thought when you put it back into the context of someone like Carver who was looking to maximize nutritional benefits of food that was grown in the South. So despite Carver being born into slavery, he was able to study agriculture, get his master's degree, and then later on went on to become the director of agricultural research. Pretty cool. So Carver was really, really interesting, not only because we still use his farming techniques to this day of the crop rotations, but he was actually one of the forefathers of this whole biodegradable sustainable packaging idea, or not even just packaging, but materials in general. So it's really interesting right now because there's this whole kind of corporate PR behind biodegradable, sustainably made, stable packaging, this breaks down, it's compostable. There's a whole bunch of criticisms to go on for that and how sustainable things actually are these days. Um, but it's interesting because Carver, way back when, um, was already thinking this way. He developed over 300 products that use plants as their base from dyes to plastics, cosmetics, everything he was making out of plants. So it makes you think like, when did we go from using plants to not using plants anymore as our basis for things like plastics? Um, more than that, moreover, he also used sweet potatoes for over 100 products. Can you believe that? A hundred products from sweet potatoes. Things like molasses, so like the sugars you would use instead of using, you know, a refined fake sugar, you used a potato sugar. Um, the sticker on the back, like the sticky part on the back of a stamp. Potatoes, like, as wild. So I just think it's great to be able to kind of call back and realize that, one, we've been using plants to make products for over a hundred years now. This gentleman made over 400 products, cumulatively, of peanuts, out of potatoes, all of it. He did it. We can do it. And what's even better is that it's a black slave who started this thinking and produced these products. And yet we still don't talk about it. 